Good evening, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife, Laura. Hello. And we're here to review and uh, attempt a playthrough of Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone's Levitating Challenge. Ooh. Mm, so Nathan is going to be attempting this because I'm dreadful at anything even remotely like this. So it's an electronic skill and action game where you have to get uh, a little ball Floating, yes, actually. Yes, floating, floating, levitating, as they say in this one. Yes, uh, through a course. So this course that you can kind of see here. Um, it is electronic. Yeah. It does make Not my sound bowl. and has action, as it says on the front. Apparently I paid $7 for it whenever. Mm. Um, we don't have the manual. Um, I looked up how to play. Um, it's very straightforward. So we'll go through it and, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the idea is how fast can you navigate through the maze um, obviously, you can play with as many people as you want. This is one of the rare one or more player yeah, games. Yeah, so the manual states that you can do multiplayer, but it's pretty much just one person goes, and if you stuff up or complete the course, the other player has to beat that time. You take it in turns, yep. essentially, yes. Uh, now, we've actually already assembled the majority of it, but... Oh, it can be, it's, there's still a couple of pieces in there we have to maybe bring out. Yes, so it comes in pieces like this. However, not everything actually goes on um, at one time. It says on the front of the box, there's over 200 different maze combinations, depending on which bits you choose to put on, how you attach them, because I think some of them can be done slightly differently. Correct. So these are all the pieces that we haven't used uh, in the setup that we have. Oh, don't forget the broom. Whoa. The little balls are like a little polystyrene. Yeah, very, of very balls. light because um, the main mechanism of the levitation is air. There's, there's an yes. air uh, generator inside the unit itself, which pushes air up, which makes the floor balls float. All right, so let's bring on the main unit. So this is separate normally inside the box. So Nathan's just adjusting. I'm just trying to get a decent shot. There we go. Yes, so um, all of these pieces are separate when you do open it. So you do have to put them in and it's kind of tricky. Uh, yeah, so there's uh, two specific spots. So you've got the basic uh, obstacles which just go in and they're just, they're stationary. They're, mm -hmm. They don't move or anything and they can go anywhere where there's little holes here. Then you've got these two special ones here. This one, uh, underneath there's a rotating disc. Mm -hmm. and it changes path which makes the whatever's plugged in there move yes. be it the ravens going up this spinning around and um, which you can also change with uh with the little like cage sort of thing yep yep they just pull out and then pop back in um they are a little bit fiddly especially um, yeah things like this that Kind of really just sit in there a little. Uh, this one has got the same mechanism which can go with the where the raven is, which causes the guillotine to go up and down mm -hmm. to get your ball in. So it just narrows the space you have to put the ball through. Yeah, so um, that one's a bit busted, but... Obviously, we've also got Harry um, in the very centre there as well, because, you know, it's a Harry Potter game. You Harry Potter. Harry. Uh, this one's cool because the air actually blows the wheel, and you've got to get the ball through the wheel, so... That's quite a tricky one. This is actually quite a difficult thing to get through, which is A, why Nathan is doing it, and B, well, why we may not make it through. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the manual itself says it gives you some suggestions for beginner courses and expert courses. This is a, a very difficult course. I actually tried this before, and the ravens are goddamn near impossible. Yes. Um, the other thing is, if you are a beginner and it falls off the course, which happens frequently, at least with us, um, you can just pop it back on if you're a beginner and, and go from where you left off. The idea is to do it the fastest you can, but I think for us, it's just trying to get it through. Yeah, so as <laughs> yeah. you can see, um, the dial moves, which also moves these two, but there's actually a little... Let me see if I can get it in camera. Yeah, there's a little, that's where the air comes out. Mm -hmm. So that's where the ball should currently sit if you're trying to move it. Yeah, so you have to move that around to follow the ball essentially to keep it moving through all of the obstacles. Uh, the rotation disc rotates that little air generator. Mm -hmm. And the lever here controls uh, how strong the air blows. So letting it go means it stops, pushing it all the way up goes as high as it can. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll need to go obviously higher and lower, and that's how you adjust yeah, that. Yeah, so you've actually used both at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, gotta my, have some skills here. So, my main ingredient in completing this is cheating and lots of it. I see. All right. <laughs> I'm sure there are some people out there who are great at this. It's just, it's just, just not. Us. So, no. to start it original, uh, initially, you have to have the air generator above the cauldron here, mm -hmm. and that actually starts the game. So, let's just power it on.
Now it's quite loud. I don't know whether you're hearing the full volume or whether I've reduced it um, when I'm editing this video, but it is very loud when you're actually in person with it. Now I believe once it's in line with here, you can move the lever and there'll a voice comes on and speaks to you in a very uh, monotone voice, mm. uh, which gives you three minutes to complete the course. Mm -hmm. Once you go all the way around and get back to the start, it'll grade you based on your time from like, uh, you know, grandmaster down to squib if mm -hmm. you fail the time. So there's quite a few rankings. Um, I'm going to get negative squib. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. As fast as you can, Nathan. Off you go. All right. Maybe this will be your best run ever. Oh dear. <laughs> ah. Oh boy, that was lucky. Oh, see, cheating. <laughs> yeah. So now it's actually kind of stuck in the middle of the uh, course yeah. there. So when you've got it on here, what you're supposed to do is sort of rotate. Oh, it's blown out. Oh, you're taking a different ball, okay. It's inter concentrate. interesting to note, the ball is red on the box. It's not red. No, they're not red at all. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, you managed to get through the little wheel. Let's focus, Nathan. <laughs> oh goodness. Get out! You can do it! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so the idea is to go through the cage, not underneath it, I, I'm assuming. <laughs> Almost. Yay! I'm a great wizard! I believe you have. I believe you have to get sub 45 seconds to get the top score. Which, I mean, as you can see, it is quite difficult. You did well, actually. I, I think actually, that, that's probably the best run um, that Nathan has ever had on this. So, it, it actually works surprisingly well. It does, yeah. You wouldn't think it would, you know, you think air in a small light ball, but yeah. Um, interesting thing, uh, you may have noted it was called the Philosopher's Stone. Yes. It was a different name in some was, areas when stone? the movie and book and everything were released, wasn't it? Yeah, so, I can't remember what it was called. Someone can let us know in the comments. Was it the UK or US had differences? I don't know. One of them, uh, but we're in Australia, and it was the Philosopher's Stone here, so... Do you want me to cheat and get Grandmaster? No. Complete the course as fast as you can. Keep steady. Oh. Focus. Keep steady. Oh, that is cheating. So essentially, it measures just when the air thing comes back to the start. Focus. No. Nope. <laughs> Keep It's not having a bar of your cheating, Nathan. <laughs> well, you, you've got to sort of control it. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Only with a bit of um <clears throat> cheating there, Nathan. That's the secret ingredient. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below uh, what Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was called in your country, and if you've ever had a go at this levitating challenge. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. You're a wizard, Harry. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.